Inventor Dean Kamen is on a quest to find technology that will solve humanity's hardest problems. With correspondent Joanne Colin, they'll meet the mavericks whose radical ideas will change our world forever. You know, let it be noted that not everyone can keep a helicopter in their garage, Dean. Really? <laughs> Ashley and Joanne, I think soon they might have something even better. What do you mean? There are now technologies out there for propulsion, for navigation, that could make light aircraft a real possibility. And the regulations are making it easier, and the public, I think, is more receptive to exciting new ideas. You want to take a look at what the future really holds? Let's do it. I'll drop you off at the airport. Getting to California from the East Coast proves once and for all, flying has lost its mojo. Endless lines, intrusive security screenings, this is the reality. But air travel doesn't have to be this way, especially if you can do it yourself. I'm in Southern California to meet two mavericks who vow to put the fun back into flying. Part James Bond, part Blade Runner. The Icon A5 is a one-of-a-kind aircraft that's poised to bring flight into the 21st century by recapturing the joy of personal aviation. Icon, just four years old, wants to completely change the way we think about personal flight by overcoming many of its challenges, including portability, safety, and ease of use. Icon is, is the world's first pure consumer sport aircraft. Designed from the ground up to deliver the exhilaration and freedom and fun that inspired so many people from the beginning of humans thinking about flying. After years of perfecting their design with a team of top aviation engineers and industrial designers, the A5's unveiling was a media event, generating buzz and excitement rarely felt since the earliest days of flying. I don't think that Kirk and I questioned whether or not if you made a really cool airplane that people would want to have it. Really what's revolutionary about the airplane, it first begins with the FAA rule changes which now open up flying to anybody who's dreamed about it. The Federal Aviation Administration changed its rules in 2004 to create a new category of light sport aircraft. The A5 requires half the training of a typical pilot's license. The FAA also relaxed the rules of traditional aircraft design, freeing up Kirk and his partner Steen to build their plane from the ground up. So one of the most clever features about this airplane, it has a very unique wing fold system. The Icon's folding wings were an early design decision, but it's not just the wow factor that's in play here. It makes the plane easier to transport. This airplane is designed to go with you, so you can fly at airport to airport or take it on a trailer or store it at your house. And this means the plane is ready to go wherever and whenever you want to. Shall we have a look inside the cockpit? Let's take a look. Another critical design element, the layout of the cockpit, which looks remarkably like the inside of a race car. It's a bold, revolutionary design choice that simplifies the controls without compromising on safety, whether you're a first-time pilot or an expert flyer. So what we've done is give you just the instruments you need and arrange some of the very intelligent architecture so that it's safe and very intuitive. This is laid out so the most important things are put right up front. Well, this is aviation, navigation. This is the communication section. I love it. It's so neat and tidy. <laughs> <laughs> if you have one gauge on this that you don't have in a car, it's called the angle of attack. This is not common on small planes. It's very common on fighter jets. Kirk, who flew F-16s in the Air Force, believes that this angle of attack gauge provides valuable peace of mind, especially for inexperienced pilots. It tracks proper airflow over the wings and indicates when the plane is in danger of stalling. The reason we put this up top center is it gives you the performance of the wing at any given time. And if all else fails, there's one last option. There's a red handle right here that you can pull. You pull that down. In a half a second, a rocket pulls a parachute up, and the whole airplane stops. But still, I wonder, is it as easy to fly as Kirk and Steen say it is? Could even a novice like myself get behind the stick? Kirk took me to find out on ICOM's uniquely designed flight simulator. It's amazingly intuitive. You really get a sense of 
being up in the air. Flying the A5, at least on the simulator, was all it was promised to be. Fun, intuitive, easy. That is, until I had to bring it down safely. You do your first water landing. I feel a bit nervous, is that normal? Yeah, so pull the power back a little bit. Keep on going down, push down on the signal OK. OK. Do I need to point down a bit more? Yeah, back a little bit, back a little bit. I'll, I'll, OK, because I don't want to hit it too out. fast. Level out, turn on the airplane, slow, slow down like that. You just made your first landing. Wow. Nailed it. But there's a reason we're on a simulator and not up in the air. The A5's design is still being tweaked, and only experienced test pilots are allowed to fly it. But orders are rolling in. The company plans to begin manufacturing the plane in 2011. I see a lot more people learning to fly. We're already seeing happening now. A third of our customers don't even have their pilot's license yet, so you're going to see a lot more of that in the future. So what we hope is that 10 years from now, when you look back on aviation, how it's transforming, they will think of us as being one of the pioneers. I've been obsessed with aviation since I was a kid. Imagine walking out your front door and going from your home to wherever you want to end up without ever going near an airport, a highway, no jet fuel, no traffic, just freedom. Personal aviation will just never be the same again.